I got a phone call from my friend. Hello? Sure. What's it called? Wait, isn't that that club where you have to wake up early in the morning and work out? And that's how he convinced me to join a club. The naive physical fitness is exactly what it sounds like. Yeah, you know in PE where you gotta do push-ups, sit-ups, and be active? It's like that, but a hundred times worse. I mean, we trained to do a hundred sit-ups, 60 push-ups, 30 pull-ups, all in two minutes, a standing long jump, and a 300 meter shuttle run. It was rigorous training for four months, but me and all of my best friends stuck through it because we really wanted to go to California and compete. I mean, the real prize was, you know, to go to Six Flags and Universal Studios after the competition, sort of like a reward for all our hard work. But most importantly, we would be representing Lanai. Four months in training, yeah, not so bad. We can do it. I mean, you know, it was not enough time, but yeah, our coaches, they made us do some very crazy stunts. Training five in the morning was not hard enough, I guess. We would have all-nighter practices that would, you know, go straight through the weekend. And, you know, we also have practices in the afternoon that would go all the way to night. There's that. And that was all to train our mentality. Uh, they made us sit in a meditative position to focus our mentality. Some of us were falling asleep and the coaches thought it was a good idea to throw chairs at us. They would slam chairs on the ground to make a loud sound and startle us so we would focus. It worked, I guess. Another weird stunt they pulled was they made us run up the highest peak of the island. I mean, it was just sudden and you know we weren't prepared but you know all right and it wasn't a very tall mountain it was narrow so it took us a very long time to finish it i mean like four hours and by that time it was dark and we were just running in the woods at night so after four months of training all in the mind speeches and fundraising the nightly physical fitness team went to california you know, we were prepared to represent Lanai and Hawaii. So we left the state around 2 or 3 and landed in California at around midnight. A military guy came to pick us up and we drove to the Marine Corps base that the competition was being held at. When we got there, all the other competitors and all the other teams were already asleep. Secretly, not secretly, we had to quietly go to our bunk beds and, you know, not make any loud noises. Yeah, that was barracks life, you know? In a hall with 40 other different dudes. It's a sausage fest. You know, being in a room with 40 other guys who are taller than you is very unsettling. Especially when they're around your age. You're like, damn, what do they feed you guys? I swear, it's the air. Man, showering was very terrible because... We all have to share. The barracks had um, communal showers and, you know, sharing is caring and whatnot. I'm not about that. You know? <laughs> Look, I'm all for, of you know, showering with my bros because I'm, you know, we bonded. We're comfortable. That's why we always agreed to always shower at nights where nobody is using the showers. And we would all have our own privacy. Like the funniest thing that happened at the barracks was the team really never focused on the competition even though it was coming up yeah we just we just went shopping we went to the mall we sightseed we even went to chipotle for the first and last time yeah our stomachs could not handle you know chipotle we went to in and out i miss it and out i'm hungry now I don't know. however we did got a good look at our competitors and you know other teams from different schools and JROTCs and whatnot. Yeah, we realized something. Yeah, we got a good look at them and said, yeah, these guys, these guys are good. <laughs> they were training for all year round. Well, we just started training four months ago, so 
yeah, there's that experience gap. You know, on the day of competition, we were ready, I guess. All of us knew that we trained hard and we should do our best out there. At this point, what was going through my mind is that, you know, I'm just here to represent where I'm from. I'm doing this for my family, my friends, and all those who couldn't be here, and of course all those who are here for us. You know, I just had to make them proud and whatnot. I mean, we were on a national level competition. It's national. You know, and I'm from an island that nobody knows exists. And yeah, it's just a lot was on my shoulders on that day. So we competed. We've pushed through, we cheered each other on, <laughs> we sweat, and we died and came back to life. We bled through our hands and we lost our breaths and we couldn't breathe. And when it was all over, we got dead last. Hey, but you know, we had fun and it was a great experience. Yeah, like, it's not deep. <laughs> I mean, just like any other competition or event that you do, you just give it your all. And, you know, what's done is done. So the entire team was proud that it was all over. All our hard work, we did it. Now, time to have some fun, yeah? We celebrated after the competition with, you know, food, of course. We were all hungry because we didn't eat that morning. And with a little bit of bowling and, yeah. It was a good day that day.